So when you're uploading your book to KDP, like when you get here, you see that here they are asking you to write the description. And the description of your book is one of the most important thing of your book. You can have a very beautiful book, a very good book, but if the description is not good, maybe the sales will be very poor. For example, you can even be running ads on your book, right? In subsequent videos, I'm going to be showing you how to run ads. But you can be running ads on your book, and then somebody is even interested, maybe because they see the book cover and they like it, or maybe because of the ad, but nobody will just click and buy. They will click on it, and then they will first of all read the description. I've seen people who are even running ads on their books and they have very high click-through rate. It means that people are actually clicking on the ad, but the demand for that book is very low because they must have clicked and then maybe they go there and the description is very poor they, or there is nothing interesting about the description that will make them to buy it. So overcomers, the description of your book is one of the things that can break or make your sales. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to write the best description that you can ever write and there are many things that you have to to do there is something called HTML if you don't know about that I'm going to be showing you in this video that Amazon requires you to use so that your book can be visible like in different formats so that you can have like bold text and all of that if you are uploading your description and you get here you, you can actually come here and bold it or you can even italicize it you can put all these things here but one thing that is there is that you can do this here if somebody is using the computer to check that description or maybe the phone or the TV or some other platform, you might not have the same format because you didn't use HTML to format it. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use HTML and how to write a best-selling description. So overcomers, if this is something that you think will give you so much value, I want to encourage you to smash that like button and then subscribe and become a part of the family. And hello to all the overcomers, welcome on board. So let's assume that we are writing a description for a children's book. Let's assume that the brand we are publishing in is a children's book and then maybe let's just come here and then look for best-selling children books so descriptions are also called blurbs when I started publishing on Amazon KDP I used to check descriptions like every day studying them and see how those descriptions are being written in my niche these books are new and the reason why they are on top is because they are running ads on the book so if you look at it you see this ad this sponsor means ad this sponsor means ad so if you click on any of these book then they will be charged the click-through read so just because i want to show you something i'm going to click on one of them i really don't like to do this because i'm going to click on the book but let's just try i want to show you something so if i come and click on this book we can see the book here the book is the i like the cover it's really good but if we look at it if you look at the description of our commerce look at how the description is it's just together in one place i just hope that the person having this book will one day see this video and then they will not be angry that i click on it but rather they'll be able to go and fix the description so if you look at it it's just in one place like this the description might be very good nobody will have the patience to start reading through all of this because it's just together so a good description should not be like this i don't want to click on the other books because maybe they are also like this but i'll encourage you to take your time and go to Amazon and then study and study bestseller description in your niche so let's just continue to scroll let's see if we can see any book that we like so this one here is a bestseller book and it's not being sponsored so let's just click on it and see how the description looks so when you come here so the description is right here okay overcomers just look at the description you can see the difference so look at how the description is it is bold here from the beginning you see how like they give space everything is not clawed together everything is not together and you see how they highlight some things here they put all those points and you know it looks so appetizing you can just want to buy it right so you can now take your time and read it and see how it is written so now that you've seen how good descriptions are study different descriptions in your niche and see how those descriptions are being written overcomers like i said i can't emphasize this enough this is one of the most important part on your book you can have a very good book but if the description is not good people might not buy it so now that this book is open like this i want you to come to the top here and just copy it so now let's go to chat gpt so if you don't have an account just search for chat gpt and then you sign in so now that we are here in chat gpt i'm going to paste the book that i copied here so the book is here now that we have it here so this is what i've written i've written write a book description for me 
that has about 150 words so this 150 words it will depend on you the number of words that most books have in your niche so you just take your time and study that and see how it is so and then another thing i've said is that a book should follow the format of this book so this is a book we copied so i've just pasted a book here and i said i'm telling chat gpt that the book should follow this format so the way the writing style the way chat gpt is going to write this description for us is going to follow the format of the best selling book that we saw and now you just like another thing that i've said is that my book has 40 coloring pages and it's 83 pages in total so i've just written some descriptions about my book so just take your time put some descriptions the most important things that you want chat gpt to include in your description so just add them here take your time and do it i've also added that my book has a glossy cover and i want chat gpt to help me to write a description in a professional and inspirational way the reason why i want it to be professional is because it's a description it needs to look good right and then i'm also putting inspirational because you know i want if that mother is reading that book as the mother is going through that book it should inspire her to be able to buy that book and then i'm also saying that the title of my book is flying dinosaur coloring book i can imagine a title of a book called flying dinosaur children will be so curious to see how dinosaurs are flying right so that's a good thing so when you write your books when you create your books make the titles to be like i want to see what is happening i want to know more about that book so when you write it like that people really want to like get it to see what is happening in that book so the title should bring that kind of curiosity that's the word yes so now we have all of this and now when you do this you just like click your enter so chat gpt is going to draw inspiration from the book that we gave it and then it's going to write our own description so when it's done with our description you see it's saying that we have 40 pages and it's writing and chat gpt has written all of this here so what you should do at this point you study the description you read it and see if it really matches what you want if there are some things that you don't want you just redo it or you just redo it or you fix those areas that you really don't like and when you see that everything is good you make sure that there is no error on your description you can take it to grammarly and just check just make sure that your description is perfect then now at this point we copy it i want us to go now and convert this into our html so just go to google and type h html let me open it so you can see it clearly html amazon kdp description and then you click enter so these are secrets that you won't see online over commerce so at this point you come here look at this i want you to make sure that you come to this particular one and then you click here i'm sure you can see it very well you click here and when you click here it brings us here and this is where you are going to paste your description so yeah you click here and then you just take okay so now we come here like this first line we want it to really be clear with you can come here and then you highlight up to the title of the book and then you come to this place and then you take bold you bold it like that and then you go across your book you just take your time and format it so you just see what i'm doing so you can come here and then you put bullet here you can come here and put number if you want to underline anything in your book for example you want this one to really stand out you just come here and you underline it you can also go ahead and you know italicize it if you want it like that you can go ahead here like the size of my book that i added i can come here and i bold it so anything that you want to do you go ahead and take your time and do it so just make sure that your description so this first page up here so this first line up here so when anybody open my book this is the first thing that they are going to see and so it should be very captivating and it should also be bold so you can just go ahead and then take your time um just separate it like this when you see like a period you can just separate it so that everything is not just chucked together like the one we saw and then you can even decide and bold the titles like the top of every paragraph you just bold it like that and make it very very attractive 
so when you are done with this overcomers this is a secret so when you are done with this now what you have to do you just come here and then you generate my code so when you generate your code you see how it looks like it has all these html codes that it has written you see how it has put all these html codes you just copy the code now like this so when you copy it you go now to your amazon so when you copy that now you come down to your description here let me just delete what i have here and then you paste your code you see how it looks so now it is like this everything is perfect when you go and then you submit your book your description will come out perfect overcomers i hope you have learned something from this video i encourage you to make sure you are taking your time to create that best selling description and i wish you all the best on your journey if you get any value from this video i want to encourage you to like the video and subscribe if you've not yet subscribed to become a part of the family love you all my overcomers see you in the next video bye bye it's been a while since we laid down